What do you understand a sovereign citizen to be, and are you one? Oh, Barry, come on. Uh, we need to get beyond this. The Australian people and the Queensland people are more interested in things like the economy and security. But uh, I'm not an, a sovereign man. You wrote this letter to Julia Gillard some time ago and you demanded that she be exempt from the carbon tax. Yes. Doesn't that suggest that you felt you could operate outside of the tax system as an individual? Well, we've got to question all of the systems that we're operating under. And I started going down that path because I'd written to uh, federal ministers, uh, registered post mail, ordinary mail, emails, faxes, personal visits. I met with some of the ministers. And even though the majority of the Liberal Party, and certainly almost all the National Party, according to the current Deputy Prime Minister, said that they are opposed to um, the claims about carbon dioxide hurting our planet, um, none of them would do anything, Barry. So that was the last resort. I didn't explore it deeply enough and I won't be going no, But what again. you were asking of them is that you be treated separately to everybody else, that you be treated as an individual citizen and, and not be exposed to the same rules as everybody else. Yeah, a very strong uh, researcher in North Queensland pointed out some things and I didn't do my research adequately, so I stepped back into the conventional approach. And that, that still so that was a worked. mistake in retrospect to, to ask that of the Prime Minister, that you well, be treated differently? Well, what, what, I, what I've done, Barry, all my life is I've made decisions based upon data and that's one of the times when I didn't do my research adequately. So I'm now doing back to doing my research solidly. And what I've come to realise... So you don't that, accept it, any longer that you should be treated differently to everybody else? No, definitely not. You're going to be part of the system? Correct. Uh, but but I, what I want to show is that the thing that decides science, and as you raise there, the carbon dioxide tax, that was a punitive um, restriction, completely unfounded. And the empirical evidence shows, as David knows, that there is no need to tax our carbon dioxide, none at all. It's counterproductive and it's not justified by science. Empirical evidence means observed data, measured data. And that has to be the basis of any policy, Barry. And the government, both governments, and people don't realise, but Greg Hunt has passed through the Senate with the help of the Greens and the Labor Party last year a carbon dioxide tax that came into effect on the 1st of July. David Leinhelm, do you agree with, uh, with uh, Malcolm Roberts that there is no empirical evidence to suggest that the, that the climate is warming? Oh, no. Our, our policy is that uh, we're, we're politicians or, or political people. We stay out of the scientific debate. We're just a small government party. So our view is irrespective of what you think about uh, the science of, of uh, global warming or climate change, um, it's a matter of whether or not the government should do anything. And our view is the government shouldn't do anything unless uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, United States are all doing something, then little Australia should, should join in for trade reasons. But until that occurs, it's pointless sending our industries uh, making our industries uncompetitive by high electricity prices, for example, uh, when the rest of the world's not doing the same thing. Well, excuse me just a minute, though, David. That's disappointing to hear that you're going to make policy without basing it on data. It's fundamental to honesty to our citizens, to the people we represent, <coughs> that we base decisions on objective data. And, and it seems to me you're just joining the Greens and the, and the Labor Party. We have to base well, policy in this country on data. We're in a mess. There's, there's plenty of data to show that high taxes and high costs on business are bad for the economy. That's all the data I need. Well, let, let me give Barry a challenge. Here's my business card. If anyone in the ABC can provide me with the empirical evidence, the measured data, that shows that human production of carbon dioxide is affecting our climate and needs to be done something done about it, all right, I'll call. tell you what I will do. I'll pass on something that, uh, that the, the Climate Institute passed on to us this morning, and it's so long and it's so detailed, but there are so many references to it that I'll, that I'll pass that on to you. Thank and, you. And I look we forward can to getting it. Debate another but, but time. But the challenge is still out there. If you, if you find the evidence, let me know. <laughs> yep, OK.